everybody. This is a collective reading. I'm going to go all the way from Aries through Pisces, okay? Love, bi-weekly for December 1st through the 15th, okay, okay guys? And this is something new that I am um, doing, so let me know what you think about it, okay? So we're going to see what's coming towards Aries through Pisces in love for December 1st through the 15th, okay? Aries through Pisces. What's coming towards all the signs? We're going to start with Aries first. Okay. Hang on one second, guys. Let me turn my volume on my phone down. Before it starts ringing. All right, let me say my little prayer. All right, guys, a couple more shuffles. And if somebody wants a timestamp, that would be great. Um, some people get a little impatient here, but Aries through Pisces. I'm gonna go ahead and, and put out the intention for Aries through Pisces with the Master of Flames, which is the King of Wands, and the Sage of Flames, which is the Queen of Wands, okay? <clears throat> So we'll go ahead and put those right there. Aries through Pisces. What's coming towards Aries? In love for December 1st through the 15th. December 1st through the 15th. Decision in love. Gemini, possibly Capricorn here. Cancer, Pisces, or just those energies. But it looks like it's somebody from your past um, coming back. Somebody that's been holding on for, to this relationship for a while now. And they may have decided in the past to, to walk away and keep to themselves, but now I feel like they see a different you. I feel like they see a different you and now they're, they're really focused on this relationship and this goes for men and women, okay? For women, I really see like a Capricorn energy here for men, I see cancer primarily. Capricorn, Gemini for women, I feel. Okay. And I see this person like they weren't clear about you before. Like they didn't have a good understanding of how they felt. But now they, they see success with you. And they are really wanting to move forward. They, they know that the feelings that they have for you run deep, is what I feel with this right here. I feel like this person was very selfish before. They were very, very selfish before. And they, all, they also seem as though they were almost obsessed with you. And you probably didn't even know it. You probably felt like they didn't even care that much but I feel like they were obsessed about you to a certain extent during the relationship and they probably didn't tell you exactly how they felt about felt about you while you were in the relationship but now they see you as somebody that they can move forward with somebody that they see success with they see themselves being happy with you but they're also unsure about how you feel about them. Okay? So that's what we have for Aries. 
men and women here. We're going to move to Taurus. King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. What's going on for Taurus in love? Taurus. For December 1st to the 15th, Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? Okay. Mm. Somebody that was very, very hurt in the past. gone through a transformation was possibly um, somebody that held their feelings back a lot. They saw you as somebody that, um, or they see you as somebody that is like a star, beautiful, handsome. They see you for who you are because you are abundant. Like they see you as everything. And I'm sure they didn't tell you. I'm sure they were very, very stubborn. You know, they just did a lot of, lot of, lot of, oh, I can't even talk. So I feel like, you know, that person probably did not speak a whole lot. You know, they sat back and let you do all the talking, all the, all the action in the relationship. You felt like you were carrying all of the burden of the relationship here. And I see that this person is changed, is going through some sort of transformation here. And now they are very loving and forthcoming with their love. They probably have al always been loving, but they express their love in a different way than you do. Okay? I feel like for men, you probably are dealing with an Aquarius. And for women, some air sign, um, also Scorpio here. I feel. Sun, Moon, Rising, um, Venus, Jupiter signs, okay? But this person is has gone through something. And it may be because they lost you. If this is an ex coming back. If this is not an ex coming back, this is somebody that has gone through a lot of healing and they know what it is that they want in their life at this point. And they they have put to rest, they have, you know, really done a lot of work on themselves and let certain things lay to rest. And they have grown. They have grown into the King of Cups, whether it be male or female here, okay? So that's what we have for Taurus for December 1st through the 15th, okay? We're gonna move on to Gemini. The King and Queen of Swords, what's coming towards Gemini in love? for December 1st through the 15th. Gemini in love. December 1st through the 15th. Hmm. I see soulmate here. I see soulmate here. I see love here. Okay. So this is probably somebody from the past, somebody that has been through something, that has, that has realized the truth of what um something means to them here with this death card and ace of swords somebody has come to grips with what they what they did how how they acted you know in this connection how they contributed to the downfall now they want to come toward and offer something.
Now they want to come forward and offer something here. But it also looks like this, we're dealing with a page of cups here. Pages are, you know, young energy. Um, it may be immature. It's not full-fledged, I love you. But it could be like an offer for a date or a text message or something like that. But when they come through, you'll know exactly who this is because they are someone that probably was not very forthcoming, you know, before. It's just their personality, I feel like, here. Um, Scorpio energy is here and uh, Capricorn is here, okay? I feel like this person is, and, and the reason why I say, when the Three of Pentacles shows up for me, it's like there was something already in existence before that somebody is trying to, um, that they weren't contributing the way they should be. So now the Three of Pentacles is showing up saying that, yeah, I do want to work on this. I do realize that this is something substantial. This is something important to me. You are important to me. When the Three of Pentacles shows up for me, it's, it's, it's not the beginning of something for me. It's like the continuation of, of something that was not so good before. Because of the death card here, there there was something that was faulty and bad, you know, regarding this person that they needed to put um, put an end to to stop. And and I feel like they have here with the Ace of Swords being next to it that they have realized the error in their ways and they know what they've done. They know what they need to do to fix it. And I feel like they're going to want to come towards you and fix it. Now with the Page of Cups being here, I don't know if this will actually take place during the December 1st and the 15th, but this is what they're thinking about. Okay, it may take a little bit longer because they're still, even though they realize what they did, they are still not the King of Cups. I did see the King of Cups when I was shuffling, but they are working almost like they're building up their nerve to come towards you, is what I feel. Okay, now we're going to Cancer. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. What's coming towards Cancer and love? I feel like Cancer, you have some choices here for some reason in love. But we're only going to pull four cards to, to see what's coming towards you. Maybe an air sign. Fire sign energy. Cancer, December 1st. Through the 15th. Earth sign. Leo. We have Leo energy, Capricorn, Virgo. Here. Somebody is um, really looking deep within themselves to try to figure out what it is exact, exactly that they want to do. I feel like somebody here is really, like they, they are working really, really hard. I mean, physical working, like maybe two jobs even. Um, and they don't really have a lot of time and I feel like they are trying to really, this person does a lot of, they don't just make a move, they plan their move. And I, I think that that's what they're doing here. Um, they need to find a good balance between their love life and Working, I feel like they probably have children that they're taking care of. For men, probably they're paying child support or something. For women, is is they're probably a single parent here, 
okay? And so they're really um, trying to focus on their own security. At the same time, they're trying to, they're wanting to come towards you. They're wanting to come and offer you something. I, I just feel like they don't really know how they can balance out what, you know, their, their, their money, their job, how, how, you know, um, how hard they're working, how much time they actually spend at work with you. I don't know if they can see at this point how they can like bring the two together. I see them coming towards you. Like their energy is, is definitely like with you. I don't think they're dating anyone. I really, really don't. I don't see that here at all. I see them focus on their money. Primarily here. Okay. All right, Cancer. So that is who's coming towards you for December 1st through the 15th. And let's see what's coming towards Leo here. Leo. What's coming towards Leo? Leo. Leo. Water sign. for women looks like that's what I'm, I'm seeing what I'm feeling as I'm shuffling Virgo women okay hmm for Leo I see somebody coming back after they left I see somebody coming back after they left realizing that they messed up and they are, they, it's like it hit them all of a sudden. It hit them all of a sudden. Like, hold up. This person is the one. This person was good to me. I feel like they've had like this real abrupt awakening. And their whole world is like falling to pieces at this point. And I feel like this should be an X rating actually because everybody I've done thus far is somebody coming back. But this is somebody that that broke your heart. They broke your heart and you are very defensive right now and you're not dating anyone you're not even thinking about dating anyone whatsoever you've been hurt and so now it's like you know what f it all i put myself out there i gave this person all of me they walked away like it was nothing we have scorpio here we have Pisces here. So this person, this person, hmm, they decided that they, they want you. Whether they come towards you or not, I feel like this person's energy has always been with you. Whenever you broke up. Whenever you broke up, whether it's 10 months ago, a year and a half ago. I feel like they their energy has always been with you. And I feel like they walked away as a cop out. That's a, that's a strong feeling I'm getting here. Like they walked away to prove a point. Which was null and void. Um, 
and, and, and that's like, that was a form of manipulation that they had used to, and probably used in the past to get you to do what they wanted you to, wanted you to do. But, um, it, you know, your, your world came crumbling down when they did this. So now you're very guarded, very, very guarded. Um, and I don't know if you should let this person back here. I really don't. I haven't pulled more cards. Um, and this is just a general reading. But, you know, if they do come back, please use your, your power of discernment. And um, you'll be able to tell what kind of... Give yourself some time to be able to tell, you know, if they've changed, what they're bringing forth to you, you know. Because I, I see you are heartbroken here. Also have Aries here. Aries and Scorpio almost have the same kind of of energy. But yeah. Okay, Leo. So that's who's coming towards you for December 1st through the 15th. So we're gonna move on to Virgo. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, guys. Knocking over my little e -cig. Okay. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Who's coming towards Virgo for December 1st or the 15th? Virgo. Virgo. Maybe a Sag. Somebody that needed to get some patience or somebody that is very patient. Okay. Or either that's you. Let's see. It's coming towards Virgo. Gemini here. Oh, High Priestess. Huh. Somebody was very, very secretive in the past. somebody also that is heartbroken whether by you if it's an ex or they have come out of a relationship already where there was a lot of secrecy and heartbreak attached to it I don't know if they were involved in the three in a three-party relationship or not but there is definitely something there substantial where this person is jaded. They're jaded. And I would say be careful, be leery, because the Seven of Swords is also here. And that is a card of deception. I feel like this person was very secretive in the past. And I feel like the person, whether it was you or somebody else that they were dealing with, um, flipped the script on them. And now they're heartbroken, okay? But as far as your connection is concerned, their energy coming towards you, how they're feeling about you, they may not be the best person for you to get involved with at this point. Because I almost feel like this person is one of those people that is always looking for better. Like they never really find the one. Um, I feel like they're always, they've always got their eye out for somebody that is better than what they already have. So in that sense, they are like a commitment phobe almost because, you know, they're, they're in constant search of something. They may be the person that's like 40, 50 years old, has never been married because they're constantly looking for something better. Okay. And so you may be dealing with, let's see. A Taurus, uh, Aquarius person here, and Aries. This is also for those of you who this person is not somebody that is, you know, untrustworthy. This is somebody who was heartbroken 
by someone in the past that now they are so guarded and they are so leery that it would not take much for them to to see something as a red flag and walk away so it could go several different ways here okay all right Virgo let's see what we got going on for Libras Libra, King and Queen of Swords. What's going on? Libra. Who's coming towards Libra in love for December 1st through the 15th? I gotta get another microphone, guys. Because people are saying that they I'm whispering and I don't feel like I am, but I'm needing to invest in a in a different microphone. Let's see. Libra in love. Who's coming towards Libra December 1st through the 15th? Somebody very salty, stubborn. Somebody that just wants to win <laughs> is what I see. Um, this person is, is quite possibly very stingy very argumentative um, we have Capricorn energy here um, we have Aquarius energy we have Aries here and we have um, Earth energy here okay Taurus Virgo as well it's Capricorn but this is somebody that even if they know they're wrong, they still stick to it. They make no apologies for it. They try to turn it around to make it seem like, you know, you've done something wrong here. Even if they know they're wrong. very very stubborn very set in their ways they really feel like um, they are a catch feel like they have their sh together and they probably do financially but as far as a relationship is concerned um, I don't think they have they haven't come to grips with the fact that they're not all of that okay but I see you as being, you know, not phased by it as a queen of pentacles over here. I see you with your back turned. Like you're not going to be bothered with it. But this is somebody that is definitely in your energy. Almost like they want to, like they want to force themselves or their way upon you and you're not having it because you know who you are. Okay, Libra. Yeah, that's very, very cut and dry. It's like, no, 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 no. I don't know who you think you are, but you go be that person somewhere else, not over here. Okay. Scorpios. King and Queen of Cups. What's going on for Scorpio? Got this long sleeve shirt on, this heater going. It's, and I'm hot. So I got to get up in a second and, and turn something down. Let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? December 1st through the 15th. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Scorpio. December 1st or the 15th. <laughs> Scorpio women, I don't know why, but I feel like you just like, you know, I don't care who's coming towards me. I'm doing me. And I just got that very, very strongly. <laughs> I'm loving me. I'm doing me. <laughs> and somebody's looking over your shoulder. All right, Scorpios. Yeah. Somebody wants to say they're sorry. 
Somebody wants to say they're sorry, but you know what? You having too much fun by yourself, and this person got on your nerves, and um, yeah, you're just not having it. They're coming in with the Knight of Swords, very hasty, and they got their sword up, but you got your cup up like what? <laughs> this me right here. You know, you might as well turn around and go back out because I'm not having it. I don't care what you say. I'm doing me. And that's it. Okay? For Scorpio men, I see Libra here. For Scorpio women, I see Pisces. I see air signs here. Okay? But, you know, you're just being happy. And I don't see you letting this person phase you. I don't, I don't see you even taking into consideration, like, what they have to say. It's like, eh, eh, like null and void for you, I feel. But they really want to make something right. They really do. Whatever they did wrong, and I feel like, you know, it was childish whatever they did. Because they're coming in as a page of cups here. Okay? So, yeah. That's funny. And Scorpios, baby. Yeah. They're almost like Aries. You guys are a lot alike. Once you're done, <laughs> it's done. It's funny. Let's see. Sagittarius. It's not funny, but I mean, it's just the way you are. It's like you, you give your all, you give your heart, and you put your, your heart and soul into something. And then once somebody like betrays you, it's like it's done. There, there's, it can't be salvaged once you have truly given up. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. December 1st. Through the 15th, Sagittarius, December 1st through the 15th. I feel like somebody's very, very enlightened, awake right now. Mm -hmm. Very stable. Ooh, somebody, you got somebody like... Hot on your trails, um, want commitment with you. You've got somebody wanting commitment with you. We have Aries here. We have Capricorn, Scorpio. This is somebody that wasn't sure before. This is also someone that, you know, quite possibly they were trying to decide between you and somebody else. Or either they were trying to decide between you and something else that was very important in their life, whether it be their career, their children, or whatever. But I feel strongly that they let something get in the way of your relationship. Although they felt very strongly about the relationship here, they still feel very strongly about it. And they're really trying to find a way to they're really trying to find a way to balance this thing out so they can have both. If, it, if it's a job, a career that was getting in the way, if they had children that they were having to pay child support for, for some reason I'm getting that, and they felt like they couldn't like financially you know, take care of you and uphold their responsibilities to their children, I feel like they're trying to figure out something right here I feel like you guys you know when you were together in the past and this is an ex I'm feeling for most of you when you were together in the past they 
they chose you, but it was very, very hard to, you know, keep the relationship going and, you know, tend to their responsibilities. But they have put something, they have ended something here and there is, um, there, they, they've changed their perspective. They've changed something here. But then I also see you as not giving this person another chance when they do come back. If they come back, I don't see you um, being open to it at all. It's like you're ready to put this to a rest and start something new. For those of you who are completely single, and this is not an ex coming back, this is somebody that sees you as very stable and that you have options. Like, like they, they feel like you're already involved with somebody that you may not give them a chance that you may have already started dating. I feel like, I feel like they think that you, that you are like, even though, you know, your relationship, like you're not in a relationship or you may not be in a relationship. I feel like they, they feel like you have you have choices here, like you may or may not choose them if they come back. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid that you're gonna kill it before it even gets off the ground. They see you as very stable. They see you as somebody they wanna have a commitment with. They're not sure if you're taken already. And then for, like I said, the others of you who this is an ex, you know, they, they, they probably felt like they had, you know, to choose between you and someone else in the past or something else. And, but they've changed their perspective and they, they, they want commitment with you. They, they see something with you, um, here, but I don't think you're going to go for it. I don't, I don't see that here. I don't know what they did in the past, but I don't feel like you're going to accept whatever it is they have to offer. So Sagittarius, let's see. Then we have Capricorn. What do we got going on for Capricorn? Capricorn in love. December 1st to the 15th. Who's coming towards Capricorn? Capricorn. Love. December 1st through December 15th. Scorpio Leo energy. Again, for those of you who this is an X, because I see that, I see somebody wanting to come and be something that they weren't before. They, they have been enlightened. They want to be happy with you. But I don't think that again, like Sagittarius, I really don't think that you're gonna be open to this person because I, I feel like at this point, you just want to like put this to rest. Like you're willing to step out, take a leap of faith here. We have Aries, Leo, Scorpio, um, 
Libra here, energy. Okay, it could be any sign, but that's the energy I see present here, okay? This is somebody that when they come back, you're not going to even believe like you're going to be like why now because you you know you you acted like you know you didn't care for me before or you didn't show me that you really cared for me before and so it's you're not going to believe that they are this changed person that they're presenting to you now okay because i feel like who they presented to you when you initially met this person was their representative okay like that's not who they were and so when they come back you're gonna think that it's the representative again and not them like they're just putting on to get you back but i feel like this person really has changed now that's not to say that you should just jump right in and just give this person a chance because that's going to be completely up to you you're going to be able to gauge you know whether this person is really their vibration is raised and they are sincere in what they're actually telling you and presenting to you okay the only thing i would suggest to you is that you know you give it enough time to where you can actually see a change okay although i feel like even if you're still gonna be leery and you know just want to say hey you know, I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Capricorn. All right. So we're going to move to Aquarius. Aquarius in love for December 1st through the 15th. What's going on with Aquarius? Who's coming towards Aquarius in love? December 1st through the 15th. Look at those cards. Let's take a look at them, even though it's a lot. Let's see. We have somebody wanting to come and take care of you. They want to be what they weren't before. They want to work with you. They're not sure how to do it. They're not sure if you're going to be accepting of them. But we're going to go ahead and shuffle these cards, guys. I just wanted to look at them since they all fell out like that. But I, I, yeah, strongly somebody wanting to, and as I say that, Ten of Pentacles, somebody wanting to take care of you. I feel like this is a person that is used to, like, footing the bill, paying bills. Um, just taking care of the financial aspects in the relationship and then some okay hmm you have someone that We have Sagittarius here. We have Gemini here. Um, but it could be any other sign, you guys. But that's just the energy that's present. Fire and air. That's a combustible mixture right there, okay? But I feel like whoever is coming towards you, you're not open to them. It's like, you know, I chased that burden away before I got, I got rid of all those thoughts. I got rid of this person that brought me all of this anguish that I'm not willing to, to allow that in my life again. But I feel like this person is going to communicate with you. 
or travel to you because they are feeling very regretful about things that happened in the past between the two of you. And then when they do make this contact with you, it's going to put you in, in a state of not really confusion, but you know, right now you are comfortable and you're standing in your power and you know, you're able to say what it is that you need to say and cut out the crap that is not serving you. But I feel like, you know, you're strong in that, but I feel like this person is your weakness. And so when they come back, it's going to be a real challenge for you to not, I'm not gonna say melt, but to not give in. Because even though you know the relationship was hurtful and you felt really bogged down by it, you still loved this person. And I don't feel like I feel like you haven't seen them in a while. You haven't talked to them in a while. I feel like this is gonna come out of the blue when they do reach out to you. Like you probably feel like they're not going to reach out to you at this point because you haven't heard from them. But I feel like when they do, it's gonna it's gonna put you in a state of like what what do I do? I had already, you know, set myself up to say, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. But when they come back, it, it's gonna be hard for you to um to deal with this person. It's gonna be very hard for you to deal with this person because you do love them, it's a thing, okay? So keep an eye, for, eye out for that. All right, Aquarius, okay. And last but not least, we have Pisces. Pisces, let's see what's going on for Pisces, December 1st through the 15th. Pisces, what's going on with Pisces? December 1st through the 15th. Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Somebody that turned their back on you before, for those of you, this is an ex. Somebody that turned their back on you before, you were giving way more in the relationship than they were giving. They're now wanting to, you know, have this equal exchange of ideas and um, money and emotions with you. They're feeling very regretful. They're feeling left out in the cold, although I feel like the reason why they're feeling left out in the cold now is because you're not offering anything anymore. You know, it's not like you left them. I feel like they, they left you And you were the one that was feeling left out in the cold, but they weren't expecting you to completely walk away. But you did. You didn't want to, but you did here. I feel like they see you as somebody that is very, um, very caring, very loving, you know, and just willing to, you know, basically sacrifice yourself for others here. And I think that's what you did. We have Aries here. Um, we have Libra. I see Taurus here, energy. Okay. I think when they come back, 
And they will come back. I, I feel like that. I feel like that. I don't know if it'll be the um, the first or the fifteenth. I feel it's. I feel like it's going to be at least five to six weeks from now. At least for some of you. Okay. But they they want to make it right. They want to make it right. Whatever they did wrong here, they want to make it right with the justice card. And you also want things to be balanced. I feel like if nothing else, you would like to have like a talk with this person for them to basically, you know, just be honest and admit, you know, what is actually going on and what has gone on. Like for them to be accountable for the things that they did here. Okay. All right, Pisces. So that is um, that's your reading for December first through the fifteenth, and I will speak with you guys soon.